So in a way, I would have to say it took me over 20 years to write this book. The original idea occurred to me in the 1990s. I had spent a lot of the uh, decade getting downsized from various industries that uh, had seemed very stable when I went into them. Um, and I connected that experience with my love of Greek mythology and the fact that a lot of the Greek gods changed names as the Greek mythology transitioned to become the mythology for the Romans. What that meant, of course, was that not all of the gods made the cut. Some of them had to have gotten downsized, forgotten about, left side. And uh, from that I took my inspiration and decided to write a comedy stage play documenting the experiences of a very difficult day in the life of Iris, the goddess of rainbows, who discovers near the beginning of the play that she has been called to Olympus to be downsized because her services are no longer required. And uh, her day gets worse from there in a very, very funny way. And it was a very funny play, and it was very well received. We mounted multiple productions of it. Uh, it had its world premiere in Brampton, and uh, we did another production of it a couple years later with uh, most of the original cast and a few additions that had been my original desired dream cast. And uh, so it was sort of a fantasy come true for me. It was an amazing production to get to watch. Uh, very well received and uh, and it's been produced by a lot of other companies since and they have all had similar experiences with audiences receiving it really well and then uh, we got to 2020 and I had started with the idea of turning my play into a novel because I thought it would be fun to write a comedy novel uh, and then 2020 shut down the live entertainment industry in which I work so I had plenty of time to work on that novel, <laughs> and as a result, uh, I was able to uh, finish it in somewhat record time. Um, and uh, so yeah, the original idea was inspired by my true experiences from the 90s. It probably took me six to eight months total to conceive and work out the idea and write it, uh, and then I spent about three months this year little bit more um, adapting it into novel form and uh, I think the other question that was asked was what is my favorite do I have a favorite scene or chapter in the book and why and uh, there's a little device that I used in the play and it was a drinking fountain on Olympus that serves ambrosia the, the nectar of the gods um, and in the opening scenes of the play, the drinking fountain refuses to serve Iris a drink, which it was just a subtle little symbol that things were not going to go well for her. And it became a really comedic visual device in the play. And uh, when I was first adapting it to the novel, I thought, I'm going to have to lose that device. It's very visual. It might not play in the novel. And I was more than pleased to discover that not only did it play in the novel, it served the same function, but in some ways even more powerfully and even more comedically. And so for that reason, um, the fountain, <laughs> is, her Iris's first encounter with the fountain is my favorite scene in the book um, because of all of the things that it yields thereafter. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the book. Uh, I wrote it in 2020, inspired by current events to... Uh, bring some laughter in a year where we definitely need some laughter. I hope you enjoy it.